Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. This is episode 589 of the Ping Pong Flick Show. And what a show it has been so far. I mean, I am so thankful for all the subscribers, new subscribers, and all the new members, of course, that I, I really have to recognize every single day. But it has been a crazy weekend. I, I can say that. It's been a crazy weekend. Um, you know, a lot of people are more interested in Zack Snyder's Justice League. They're more interested in DC in general after the incredible, incredible DC fandom that kind of brought a lot more people together. Like, we are not just alone anymore in the Snyder Cut fandom. There's a lot more people are interested, in, especially I've seen all these different Zack Snyder's Justice League reaction videos that, like, people are really in tears, emotional, and it's crazy. I think it's, I, it is, you know, uh, aside from the Batman, Robert Pattinson and Batman, it's probably the first or the second, depending on who you talk to, best thing that happened out of DC fandom. But like I said, before I get into anything, I would love to thank the newest members of the Ping Pong Flick show. I would like to thank Marvel Man. That's interesting. Marvel Man, a Marvel fan, is a, a supporting my channel. Thank you so much, Marvel Man. Also, James Lex. I know that guy. James Lex, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And of course, thank you to the rest of the Ping Pong Flicks members right here. Sean Samaru, David Tyler, OG, Javi, ASB Jones, Eugene Joseph, Ursiv44215, Tomato, Tomito, uh, William. Uh, Powell, Andreas Karlstrom, Timothy Dalbeck, Vod Karius, Raj Rudolph, Mott 50, Salman Malik, Brent Coffey, Maximilian Platten, Jeffrey Mock, Il Divino Vega, JD McRae, Griff the Sith, Michaela, Mike Smith, Bon Giovi, Calendar, Big Rooster, Nadir Hussain, Hussein, Roger Benavidez, Code Awesome 28th, AC Universe, uh, ACS Universe, rather, Art Carlos N. Mr. J310, Frank Dabrowski, Kal of Krypton, Curtis D. Berg, WH Productions, Danny Gray, Derek Schultz, Ray Ray's Collection, Entertainment, Brandon Hall, Krypton Caged, my first one, George, Arif Hussein, and David Sherrington, and of course, Sickness. Thank you guys again. What a mouthful. One day, maybe I'll just have to plaster it up. I'm not sure if anybody wants to hear me read names here on forever, but I definitely still want to recognize my members of the Ping Pong Flick Show. So thank you so much, guys, for joining in. Now, we thought this was all over. We thought there was like nothing else coming out of DC fandom, right? Well, there, yeah, not too much, but there's a lot of updates in terms of some movies and possibly something else. So, so let's get take a look at what came down the pipeline in the past two days. The first one comes from Daniel RPK. He is saying that the Shazam Wizard, Shazam the Wizard, is confirmed for Black Adam. Uh, played by, again, uh, Jamon. I think that's how you say his name. From the first movie, he is back. He didn't, I guess he didn't die. Or actually, this could actually be because in the past, we're going to actually see him duke it out with Shaz um, Black Adam and probably one of the people who, you know, seals him up as well so we'll finally get to see him again in the past um and see how he uh catches up with uh shazam uh black adam and we actually saw some of these images in that animated teaser so that is been definitely confirmed um and so I i'm really excited for that along with all the other things that are coming out of black adam justice society of america um you know and and possibly and this is just me wishful thinking a superman cameo okay okay a superman cameo can we have some superman cameos i mean that's one of the one things that i i i kind of just uh was disappointed with uh dc fandom not not it was a whole disappointment just a little bit that there was wasn't a lot of superman content in there other than Zack Snyder's Justice League, right, uh, and, and some other things, but but mostly Superman was pretty much missing for the entire thing. It was pretty much a Batman show. So congratulations and uh, everything to the Batman fans. Speaking of Batman fans, apparently uh, Gotham City Sirens in development or not? 
Well, this is uh, coming from, and this is one of those situations where depending which scooper you're listening to. Um, Gotham City Sirens update says, Gotham City Sirens is back in development according to trusted insider Daniel RPK. Daniel RPK, what did you mean by GCS is live? It's back in development. And to prove that here's the person that not lying, they actually pull up the DM to Daniel RPK. I don't know how Daniel feels about that, but he pulls it out and it shows it's back in development for that so that uh that is uh, apparently a confirmation that is in development i didn't know it was out of development i thought it was already in development it's been in development but if if you're wondering if you're one of those few um that would like to see and i think there's a lot of people who would love to see more gotham city sirens then you can um you know see that as something very hopeful that it will be in development but because I said I mentioned that depending on what scooper you're, you're talking to, Grace Randolph says this. Many of you ask, so I double-checked with my sources. Rumors are Gotham City Sirens movie being back in development is 100% false. I'm sure one day we'll get a GCS movie, and I'm excited. But after that bad box office, Warner Bros. canceled plans to continue Birds of Prey universe. Uh, once again, depending on which one you listen to, we'll have to wait and see. But ultimately, I do agree that a Gotham City Sirens movie would be the next step in Harley Quinn's kind of uh, evolution of her character, especially if they're still using Margot Robbie. Uh, and I think that would definitely have to be the next thing um so here's hoping to see that gotham city sirens moves forward in some capacity right so that's gotham city sirens now let's get into zack snyder's just league as you've seen from the thumbnail that's probably the topic of conversation today and you're like what more can come out of zack snyder's just league than what we've already seen, Chris, that Hallelujah trailer was a magnificent piece of art. I watch it every day. I hear it, Hallelujah, every day, and it's amazing. So I'm still in La La Land in terms of that trailer, um, and but it, it just keeps me going, right? It just keeps me going. It's really cool, especially when uh, my island is now on full lockdown once again. Uh, I still got... Uh, the greatest thing that has ever happened in 2020, Zack Snyder's Justice League. So, but so that's why I want to talk it. But you know, it, it's it's a, a certain thing that a lot of things people are wondering about Zack Snyder's Justice League is that it's going to be on HBO Max, but only in the United States, and that's the bummer part about it. But as you know, Zack Snyder had did say uh, over at Justice, um, you know, at DC Fandom that there are don't worry international people international fans we are working on distribution to getting you that Zack Snyder's Justice League and the first one to confirm that it's HBO Asia HBO Asia confirms Zack Snyder's Justice League will be on HBO Go Asia and it's right here HBO Asia so I have some big news HBO Asia you guys made this happen Justice League the Snat Snyder Cut will be available on HBO Go in Asia, uh, and one of the one of the strongest intern supporters or, or accounts from HBO that really truly supported the Snyder Cut. It coming from them first is quite poetic. I, I like to say it's quite poetic to see that actually happen, and HBO Asia being the first to go out. Now I know there's a lot of Europeans. Um, and other international that would love to see Zack Snyder's Justice League. I'm telling you, like Zack Snyder, don't worry. Our, our international family and friends, my international brothers and sisters out there, you will get to see Zack Snyder's Justice League when Zack Snyder's Justice League releases next year. I promise you. They will make it happen, so don't worry about that. So, um, and this is a this is significant right here. This is this is the way it's gonna go. If it can come on HBO Go in Asia, it can come on HBO Go anywhere else, including possibly the HBO Go you find on your Amazon Fire Stick on your Roku. That's an option as well. So don't worry. I think they're definitely going to try to get you, Zack Snyder's Justice League, in the comfort of your own home. So, But that's, that's awesome. 
I can't wait to see Zach Sanchez League, and I know all you guys, everybody, my international brothers and sisters, can't wait to see it as well. But there are some things as well, and it looks like it's not only the fans who are celebrating this, along with the cast and crew and everyone and anybody's family, cousin, and things like that, but also apparently the VFX studios um, are actually celebrating as, as well, and they're actually publicly putting out which VFX studios are working on Zack Snyder's Justice League? Art of VFX right here.com. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, yes, here is the teaser for Zack Snyder's Justice League. The VFX companies are finally can can say who they are, what, what's been working on it, and who's been working on it, and be proud of the fact that their work has been put out to the public for everyone to see in that little two minute, uh, little two minute plus trailer, and, and that's awesome. So the VFX are made by uh, DNAG, uh, VFX uh, supervisor Tom Proctor, MPC, VFX supervisor Seth Mori, Scanline VFX, uh, VFX supervisor Brian Hirota, who actually, who actually cued in a lot of some of that information in terms of how much it was done and, and things like that. So, uh, wink, wink, hint, hint. Weta Digital, VFX Supervisor Keith Miller, uh, Pixel Mondo, VFX Supervisor Van Martin and Thilo Ewers, Shade VFX, VFX Supervisor Brian Godwin, Method Studios, Rodeo FX, Crafty Apes, Blind Limited, CG Supervisor Andrew Booth, the production VFX Supervisor is John D. James Jardin, who also, in a way, kind of helped us in the movement by letting us know certain information information about the existence and also how what stage that Snyder Cut was in prior to its announcement. So again, directed by Zack Snyder, these are your VFX official VFX companies that are working on Zack Snyder's Justice League. Awesome to see. Great companies. Great. I, I am very um I'm very excited for what they can do. If you know uh you've seen Zack Snyder's Justice League the trailer and maybe you see like it, it may need some touch up, don't worry. It will definitely with these companies involved, they are definitely gonna make it movie magic and make it incredible for you to look at when the by the time you watch it on HBO Max or maybe the next trailer. You know, there's a real trailer, another trailer coming out. I hope so. I really hope so. So, but Speaking about Zack Snyder's Justice League, I want to throw a bone over to Real Anarchy because the Real Anarchy got an ex had an exclusive interview with Zack Snyder, and I'm actually happy to say that I got to be a part of it this time. So uh, it was on a real in motion uh, in the stream, the round DC fandom round round table stream, and then everybody came on. Uh, we sent out a link to Zack Snyder, maybe, and he did. He showed up. He really showed up uh, to us, had a good celebrated with us. We had a good time. Uh, you know, the my brethren got to be able to asked some really great questions in which I'll kind of review it for you but uh, take a look I'm going to link this video uh, Garza uh, you know cleaned it up a little bit because Zack Snyder didn't have a mic with him so he kind of boosted his audio cleaned it up for you so that you can enjoy this Zack Snyder interview uh, from Real Emotion Real Anarchy and I like a guy like I, I'm so happy to be a part of that uh, I'm so tickled by that what a great way to end the weekend um, or in that night, that DC fandom night with an actual drink and hallelujah and, and conversation. And just me, for me, I'm just listening to him. Like, I'm just like, I'm just like in la la land throughout most of this thing. But I, I am so uh, happy to have seen him again uh, this time online though, but that's okay. Um, one day we'll have another Snyder Con and I'll get to see him again and we'll we we'll all get to see him again. So this is fantastic. Great to see Zack Snyder, but we'll learn a little bit more about uh, what transpired. So Garza uh, actually put out an article. He wrote one up exclusive. Our real interview with Zack Snyder post DC fandom. And I think this kind of, for the most part, a lot of this stuff you and I already know, but it clears up a lot of things uh, in terms of that. So um, I won't go into all of this uh, for you, but I'll just go and maybe summarize it. And if you would like to read it yourself, uh, feel free uh, to read it yourself. So um, 
He chose the Hallelujah song two years ago. I mentioned that in the other video in the breakdown. So that's awesome. Um, he also talks about a little bit about the 214 cut. Confirmed. Confirmed that the 214 cut uh, is not 100%. It was, it was, it was still in the pre-viz stage. There was still a lot of work to be done in terms of that. So that's not a complete, complete thing uh, that was done back then. That wasn't a finished cut. So um, I know people wanted that 214 cut or bust, but actually he kind of reveals here that. It, the 214 cut was not finished like uh especially like all of my uh colleagues have been have been uh saying for a while now that it was definitely uh not completed right there's definitely that he wanted to do a lot of things um and the version we're going to get is is way even more completed and uh and got and and a lot longer than to 214 so that that is something that um he has confirmed for us so we know now that um it wasn't one it wasn't done back then um and two it wasn't fully done and number two uh it was still compromised and now he's getting to be able to do the things that he wants to do with this Zack Snyder's justice league and of course it, it, it's going to be like four hours right so I'm, I'm moving ahead but Zack snyder is coy when it comes to ryan reynolds involvement okay and and really coy i mean uh there you can watch that video and you see that where garza says well when they talked about uh green lantern um you know uh, dave brought up the green lantern ring possibly in the nightmare future and he says oh that would have been that would have been good uh and then he coyly just kind of smiled and uh, then garza of course had to ask wait is is ryan about to hop in and he didn't even say his last name now i was wrong about that he actually didn't say his last name but uh um, Zack Snyder looked confused a little bit. Was like, and then he his eyes opened and he was like, oh, oh, you naughty fucker. Nah, you know, I mean, that that to me already tells me that um, that is pretty much for me confirmed that uh, that conversation uh, in terms of Ryan Reynolds being involved with Green Lantern truly happened or is happening. So I don't know where the uh, how... Uh, the update for that as well, but it is true. There has been uh, talks of Ryan Reynolds returning as Green Lantern because one thing I know about Zack Snyder is that uh, from my you know my own conversation with him and and how he reveals things that when it's a no, it's a no. But if there's something to it, just a little bit, even like a mention, and he knows what you're talking about, he's gonna play coy. So remember that. Remember that. So. I felt that, okay, well, at least that kind of says it right there that Ryan Reynolds, like I already knew, but for everybody else out there that Ryan Reynolds uh, did in fact have some involvement, is having an involvement, at least being part of the background conversation for Zack Snyder's Justice League. So that's interesting. Zack Snyder thought the two-hour mandate was a joke. That's right. He thought the two-hour mandate was a joke. Uh and this is funny, and I, I probably have to read this um, for you just to get a sense of what it, it meant. But you know how when uh, we had those articles before where the Hollywood Reporter, I believe, was saying that um, the studio, I think it was the rap, the studio was saying that um, there needs to be a two-hour mandate on Justice League, right? Um, and so, which is ridiculous because they're trying to put more uh, people in the seats. They wanted to put more people um, to watch, you know, put this film out in more theaters and things like that. So that's why they really tried to, um, um have him just cut it up compact it into two hours which is really hard so i want to share this little quote here um i'll be honest i always thought of justice league that that long form narrative was the potential of the film the way i shot the film i knew it was like the studio kept telling me two hours i really thought it was a joke like two hours haha <laughs> good one the script is over 400 pages long. And what world is that a two hour long movie? And I shoot notoriously long. It's not a shock, right? I mean, BVS is full of three hours and that's two characters and Superman already has an origin story. So there's a little bit more to that in that video in which he 
kind of says he kind of makes a joke how uh there is a, a in the script says victor uh, victor runs towards a goal or uh, makes a goal right and then he's like that that's he makes that law he shoots the entire thing and having like victor go you know slow motion so it was it was a funny moment during that interview uh and so definitely you should check it out so um that's a funny thing that he talks about as well zach snyder is coy when it comes to zach snyder's justice league sequel he doesn't want to go further he doesn't want to mention it and he's he laughs because it's like we're talking about the sequel we haven't seen the first one yet and i gotta agree let's get through the first one i think uh, we really do have to watch the first one, by the way. We have to watch it legally. We have to show the interest. We have to show that all that fighting to get the announcement, all that fighting to get the film, we have to show up and actually watch it the right way or pay for it the right way. So let, let's uh, be sure we, we really, really um, uh, get into that. So, right. But he's also thinking about um you know we've also thought about a, a possibility of, of a sequel and in a, in a way and he doesn't want to reveal too much of that i think he in the actual uh interview you see him kind of like well you know man eh, you know i i can't say more and then he kind of just goes right into uh the batman a little bit so uh i'm gonna read to you what it, it was kind of um what what that that conversation was kind of like when in terms of of that and it's really short but it, it's this is just a part of it um now when garza asked did you know about ben uh returning and he says i didn't i was like that's amazing and, and i think that's good and garza goes uh, for me that means technically that's his commitment to your second season right justice league 2 and so i would use joining the flash film against him and, and zach says well I'm going to knock on wood and then completely changes the subject right there. Hey, did you guys see the new Batman trailer? You'll see them in the interview. It's, it's really funny, but it does show that there may be, there's gotta be. I mean, I, I honestly believe um, that a studio, especially war media wouldn't look at this giant opportunity and say, this is a one and done. There's like, well, how can we capitalize it first further? How do we get this Snyder cut noise that goes farther past the first Snyder cut. And so I believe that's part of it. But of course, there's a lot of things in motion right now. And we really have to concentrate on the first one in order to get that noise going up. Now, when it comes to the actual title, Zack Snyder's Justice League title, right? Uh, we actually had Dave. Dave actually um, asked that uh, question about Zack Snyder's Justice League, about the title. Um, and, uh, and, and it's something that we've already been known. He's, he's mentioned it, um, many times, like many times that the title he wants that everyone wants is Zack Snyder's Justice League. He even created the hoodie. It's on the announcement poster that was on H uh, that was at the Man of Steel watch party. It should be no question at this time. I think it's, it's, uh, yeah, I'll make this clear it, the title he wants is absolutely uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. I mean, that should be uh, crystal, crystal clear by now. But of course, you know, um, it's great that uh, uh, Dave actually asked the little question about the, sh the shirt. Uh, and he asked him, like, how's the shirt? Like, how's this title? I hope that this is the title. And uh, he actually responded. You know, Zach actually said, I think it's all right. I'm just doing some small negotiating, but yeah, I got it. So, um, so there you have it. It's just doing a little negotiation to uh, negotiating to acquire that Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, but he does want it. Um, he definitely that is going to be a title, and I'm very confident that he'll be able to negotiate. He thinks there's just a little bit of things that he has to do, but he definitely that will definitely be the title. So yes, Zack Snyder's Justice League will be the title of this, and it makes sense. I'm, I'm honestly, it makes sense, right? Because he also confirmed Zack Snyder's Justice League will be four hours long, split into a four-part mini series. So, and that is not something that's compromised. It's actually something he's always kind of wanted. He wanted that long-form narrative. He didn't want 
to you know uh constrict to a certain timeline he just made it a certain way and his movies are long so uh that's the way he wanted to play out of course in terms of distribution hbo max will probably distribute it um you know and he even gave that thought out that maybe it could come out uh uh it's probably gonna come out where it's like uh next week and you'll say previously on justice league and and the justice league opening crawl comes up or something like that uh and we kind of had a nice laugh to see that uh to that um and, and but in seriousness i think that is the best way for him to tell his story in the entirety um at the same time that and and I think that's great. I think that also actually makes it even possible to think about a part two uh, or a sequel to Zack Snyder's Justice League. Because when you're working with a series, you're working with seasons. And most and more times, we can get season two if the first season was a hit. Or even if the pilot was a hit, right? So there is a lot of more, you know, ways that would be seemingly a lot more profitable uh, to HBO Max and, and to the studios um, and to Warner Max that hey, let's let's get more Zack Snyder's Justice League because people love it, just like how they love Game of Thrones, just like how they love um, the Westworld, and those those. Um, series are like mini movies or, or giant movies as well just split up just like that so mini series it was definitely going to be a mini series and that's how it is so if you guys want to learn more uh about you know what the interview check out the interview and also check out the article as well and also now getting to at and zach snyder's justice league poll and the imdb's best batman poll today first off at and poll came out today says raise your hand if you've watched the snyder cut trailer at least 14 times since the debut <laughs> that's nothing 14 I've, I'm way past that. What are you most excited to see when the four-part miniseries comes to HBO Max in 2021? That's also a confirmation from AT&T that the, it will be a four-part miniseries with a movie at the end. Zack Snyder also mentions that, that they'll fi they're, he's finding a way to put it together so that it could be uh, a bi one big movie if that's the way you want to watch it uh, in, one, in one sitting. So... But the poll came out, and um, I chose Black Suit Superman because Superman, sorry. But a lot of people chose Ben Affleck's Batman. Rightfully so. He's an incredible Batman, and we haven't get, yet to see him that much. We've really only seen Ben Affleck's Batman, the true Ben Affleck's Batman, in Batman v Superman uh, and not in Justice League. So we're going to get to see him in Justice League so I can see how people are super excited to see Ben Affleck's Batman, especially of all the things that he's gone through, right? So that's awesome. But uh, not only that, there was an IMDb poll yesterday um and and actually it was brewing because there was like a it was a, a contest where it, a, a tree right goes down to the winner and went down to the last two christian bale and and uh ben affleck and at one point christian bale was pulling forward and ben affleck was way far behind it was like 60 and 30 by this morning it flipped. Christian Bale is now um, was losing, and Ben well, not losing, but pulling. Uh, ben Affleck was pulling away from Christian Bale, and now Christian Bale, oh, Ben Affleck rather, won who the best Batman, and and it kind of and I felt like uh, in a way Zack Snyder kind of just pulled it out and says, you know what to do. Come on, you know what to do. Pick your Batman here uh, for a reason, and I even tweeted out as fellow associate producer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. You all, we all are. I believe it's our duty. Our duty to choose Ben Affleck. So um, that's why I put that in there um, because I know we all want um, Ben Affleck to come back. Uh, we all love Ben Affleck as Batman. And if he wants to, and maybe this is encouragement that, hey, we love you as Batman. Uh, maybe we can see you in season two of Zack Snyder's Justice League. And if you ever want to revisit that movie, uh, that storyline with Deathstroke, then please, uh, if you want to, if you want to, um, then maybe you'll be happy to come back. If he was, he was happy to come back for The Flash, according to Barbara Muschietti, he may just be happy to come back uh, for Zack Snyder in Zack Snyder's Justice League Season 2 
but there's a season two and or the Batman. So that's awesome. Now, speaking of associate uh, producers, I want to add that the associate producer shirt is now available. Um, if you didn't get the chance to get the one from Warner, the official one from DC fandom, um, the, the, the one that was like a contest where whoever picks the out of like 2,800 or something like that, uh, they're, they're only giving away so much. Um, you can go ahead and go to ink to the people. I'll link this in the description below. Uh, all, the money will go to the AFSP American foundation of suicide prevention, like usual, but it is definitely the Zack Snyder's just league associate producer shirt. It has amazingly awesomely, amazingly raised over $30,000 so far, 3,300 shirts sold. Now, and I got to say, now that this thing is real, like um, like its announcement is done and everything's done, a lot more people are hopping onto this, and I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Like I said, this is the associate producer shirt. This is where you can put your write your name right under the associate producer. Uh, there's different ones as well. There's also the hoodie as well. Just write your name on the back of this, and then you can also be an associate producer on Zack Snyder's Justice League. And you should be happy about that. You should be happy about that. There should be no qualms or fighting about who gets what, what gets credit and whatever. Because at this point in time, Zack Snyder Perry just told us everybody got credit. You're all associate producers. You guys made it happen. We all made it happen. Uh, and that's what we should focus on now watching the movie and continuously supporting all the charities involved with Zack Snyder's Justice League that goes to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. We are saving lives, it's literally, literally saving lives. So be sure to get a shirt um, uh, or a hoodie or both. I'm um, say both. Get a several if you want, but and write your name uh, uh, under the associate producer when when you get this shirt and i think zack snyder was going to release a video or something to show how to write our names properly under all that shirt because uh that's something he really wants to show us right but and i want to end it on this zack snyder's justice league is now on imdb as many of you have known you can see it here series premiere it's also called a tv mini series as well Interestingly enough, it says 2021 to two. Hmm. Is that insinuating that there's possibly more than four episodes of that? And uh, it's interesting to see this season one, episode one, episode 1 1.1. So uh, 2021. And there you have it. Zack Snyder's Justice League is officially on IMDb uh, series premiere mini series and has a hint that it could go further. It could go further. And um, in my heart, I believe it will, but we'll have to wait and see. So please, please, when it comes out on HBO Max, support the fuck out of it. Go and watch it over and over it's probably just as much as you're watching the trailers right now and get that thing trending, get HBO Max looking to see how many times people have viewed Zack Snyder's Justice League. So they're like, let's make some more. Let's make some more. I want them to make some more. You want them to make some more. I'm sure everybody else wants to make wants them to make some more as well so there you have it all right well thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing if you like this content if you like me talking about dc movies dc uh all the dc films and possibly new content for hbo max in terms of dc please click the like subscribe below ring that notification bell and if you'd like to support me further please join my membership as well for also exclusive videos on that as well so thank you so much i'll see you next time